Hi everybody! Uh, previously, we fixed the front end on this lovely Ford Fiesta and we fixed some oil leaks on it, filled the coolant until all the mechanics are done. So, the next thing we need to do is fix the airbags in it. After it's been in a front end crash, naturally all the airbags have gone. So, we need to replace the dash, replace the seat belts, basically strip the whole interior of the car. So, I'm going to treat this episode like the perfect guide. <clears throat> step by step and we'll have a giggle on the way kind of thing so let's roll VT let's go so first off we need to clean the car naturally I'm presented with this figure the best show you oh my god what the hell so I need to basically, I'm going to take just everything out, because I'm tall, obviously. So let's do that. Oh my god. Well, we gained a shovel. You must have knew we were going to crash. So, upon further inspection, we've got moisture here, so there must have been some moisture in here, and that's why we've got mold growing. So we need to basically gut it, now. we? Now we can see even more mold here, so I'm definitely taking these seats out. So, you think you're changing a dash, but it looks like I'm doing a full interior decontamination first. <laughs> that should be fun. Let's have a closer look at this. The back seat is attached to the trim panel. This can't be wrong. This seems a lot of madness. It's attached by this thing here. But there's no way you can pull it off while it's in the car. That's madness. Yeah, oh, dear me. It's a tricky old game taking out some basic back seats. Ooh. This is going to be fun. So, right, before going any further, or dowsies and basic washing up liquids, you know what I mean? I'm just going to let them soak in, then I'm going to hit them with jet wash, and then I'll probably think about using some proper cleaner on it to get them all up nice, because they need a clean anyway, you know what I mean? And uh, I don't want to get in the car and take this clean. So once you've cleaned them, leave them on raised ground so they can like drip dry and all the water can get out, you know what I mean? And then uh, wait about three days for them to dry. So you've got this little clip here. It looks crazy when it's on. Basically squeeze it in and just tug it off and it'll come off, you know what I mean? Alright, I'm going out the back with this one. Oh, way too difficult going out the side. So we finally are in. Finally. Now, uh, there's a lot of mess in here. The carpet needs to come out. That's basically toast, it's covered in mud. So, I think the next on the agenda then is to finally start stripping down the front dash, doing the task that we came here to do. Finally. But first, it might be worth doing the seat belts, but I'm kind of over it. <laughs> we may as well just get this thing stripped down and cleaned because this is a biohazard now it's not a dash swap it's a biohazard cleaned down so after we've cleaned all the seats i've now found this what the hell is that some kind of 
other life form from another world. So I could do yeah, it, but I don't want it bouncing around the car, so I'm probably going to chisel it out now. This is supposed to be a dash one, not a cleaning episode. <laughs> oh my god. What's, this is the reality. If you buy one of these cars, this is what you have to deal with, so stick around, you'll learn something. Oh. So, this episode has took a major swerve. I'm supposed to be taking a dash out. But it's turning into a biohazard cleanup now, so... I, 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 like, I had this list, a strict list on how to strip all the dash down, methodical, you know what I mean? I was going to make this perfect guide. That's clearly gone out the window now, so... I think what we're going to do is use this episode as a demonstration of what happens when you buy a car like this kind of thing. So what we need to do now is basically get this carpet out realistically. Now the only thing that complements the dash swap is we've got to take that centre console out at some point. So for now, I think we're going to take these trim panels off here to release the carpet. We're going to have to tack all these seat belts here, like unbolt them so it'll come out. And hopefully it should just pull out and we'll get it jet washed because it can take a long time for these things to dry and we've got good weather so... I think this episode is just going to be an oh my god, what an absolute pile of a car, you know what I mean? So, let's crack on. So the first thing we're probably going to have to do is remove this dash thing, this, whatever this is supposed to be. I mean, I respect it. You need an armrest. All right, well done on that, but what the, what, what? <laughs> oh my god, what's in it? Oh my Jesus Christ, man. Clean your cars, people. Jesus. I mean, really? Just clean your car. So, now we're going to tackle this. I think there's a screw there. I'll probably just shag it off. You know how it is. I'll do a time lapse. Ew, disgusting. Disgusting. So well then, what we've got to do first is pull this cover off here. Take the two screws out either side there. Then we need to unscrew the gear knob and then we can basically pull this fascia off here and that comes off. Now we've got two bolts here, one and there. It's only one in one side, so it's been off before. So if we take them off, this whole unit should come off then, and that should hopefully be enough to get the carpet out. It looks like it is. To be honest, I don't think you even need to take it out, but it's got to come out for the dash swap anyway, isn't it? So, progress, let's go! Right, I feel like this is a lot more difficult because it's not, like, you can't just go in and get the stuff. You've got to, like, dodge bits of mould, you know what I mean? So, what we've got to do now is we've got to take these two wires off here, that one for the fag lighter, and then this, this auxiliary one here. Yeah, you can see it. Oh, there we go. That one's out. That was, that was simple enough. And that should now release this. Should. <laughs> he says. To come over, but I need two hands. You know it is. Two hand job. So it's finally off. Jesus Christ. This little wire was stuck in somehow now. It doesn't look like a stop wire to me. No, it's your handbrake signal wire, basically. It's basically fast around the bottom of it, so just be careful when you're pulling them off, you know what I mean? But I think that should do to get the carpet out now. So let's crack on and bloody clean this thing. Eesh. His name was Maxwell. We now know this scruffy little Hmm, what the hell is that? Jesus. Super phony, the grossness. Can't wait to get this out. You'd think I'd be happy that I'm rich, I've found all this coin, but I just don't want to touch it, because it's probably dirty. I mean, I got conjunctivitis once from two pee machines with a we were a young boy playing 2P machines and we hit the jackpot so we were like we were crunching loads of 2Ps and I ended up touching my eyes and getting conjunctivitis. It was horrible. Food for thought. It's probably the tip of the day. 
So we're doing all right, boys. We've got around about 56p, a washer and a battery. It makes sense why the, uh, the car key doesn't work, the remote. Now then, I think the next thing we need to do to get the carpet out is take this seat belt bracket off here. I'm probably gonna have to take these two trim panels off here. I don't know, we might be able to just tug it out yet. But they probably need coming off anyway to put it back. When you're in an accident, the airbags go off, obviously. But also, what your seat belt does is there's a little like shotgun cartridge at the back end near the bottom, and it explodes and tightens your seat belt kind of thing to guarantee like you're sucked into your seat. Now with this one, we're probably going to have to cut this seat belt because it's like a guitar string. It's like proper tight, but it's always handy to have a seat belt knocking about. You know what I mean? You can lift the engines out with that. But yeah, so tackle these two things, and she should be eight. Get it! No, we didn't need to cut it. Yeah, so gross seat belt thing off and. These now, yeah, they just, they just ping off kind of thing. You think? There you go. Now we just keep. Yeah, there we go. Now we're going. Yes, easy. I found something interesting. Uh, in the footwell, when you pull this off, it's actually glued on there. So, uh, I'm probably gonna have to find some kind of glue. I don't know whether you can see it or not. Probably not. I'll take my word for it. It's glued on like vinyl floor. <laughs> so, I'm gonna have to get some spray glue. So there she is. Do more carpet. This is the sorry state of the carpet. It's actually quite easy to take out. They roll up and it turns into like this tiny little parcel you can get out. I'm not even afraid to put that back in, but what we do need to do now is tidy up because that is just a disgusting. That should do. So then. In order to do a dash hop on your Fiesta, you basically need to rip the entire interior out. Now, there was extra steps in this. I had to take the back seats out and the carpet out. It's probably 15 minutes overall. But the thought of having a brand spanking fresh interior that's like utterly clean, it's worth it, I think. But as this was an unexpected episode, I think I'm going to wrap it up here because we're at the final stage where we can actually do a methodical step-by-step -step dash swap guide. So the next episode should be up pretty quickly. If you want to watch it, consider subscribing, you'll get a notification, all that kind of thing. If you like this episode, press the like button. But otherwise, I'll probably see you tomorrow, yeah? Nice one. See you in a bit. Bye. Oh, watch a different video if you want. <laughs>